Are you struggling using UDIM aka UV tiles in cups in Houdini 20.5? I know, it's so headache. So finally, we find out a simple way to use UDIM in cups. Warriors around don't get caught in the mosh pit. The fuel to the fire ain't nobody can stop it. The trouble in my city, but you know I'm across it. Got a 40 on my hip and I'm liable to spark it. Throw down these hits, my click is indivisible. I aim you duck, I squeeze, now you invisible. I'm not afraid of getting physical. Hi everyone, this is Dyson. Welcome to my channel, okay? Without further ado, let's begin. First, let's see what the heck is you deem and why we need this. For example, let's take this character and as you can see, this character has a many pieces with the name attribute. This is common. For example, if I UV unwrap this, as you can see, all these small pieces, it will compress in one square UV, aka one tall UV. For example, if I need these small pieces, I want more resolution to that, it will be so heavy to get the proper resolution. So instead of doing all these pieces in one UV tile, we need to separate them in different tile. That's why we call it UDIM. UDIM will begin from 1001, 1002, and 1003, etc. You see, in this one we have our UDIM, and as you can see, we have a spacing problem. That will give us the same issue with the resolution. You see? On my Patreon, we'll tell you how you can do this spacing stuff to get more resolution. So, this is awesome with the UDIM. Hmm. So, that's interesting. I don't need more resolution. Why will go with UDIM? So, another benefit of UDIM is, what if your supervisor told you after you painting your character and suddenly goes, wait, I need more object attached to this character and you will freak out yeah all the uv all the painting will destroy on uv traditional that's why we'll use udim for example as you can see we have this sphere we added to our character as you can see and you see it will take the new udim beside the others so that's so amazing nice so now we found out what is UDIM and why we need this UDIM. So how we can work with that in COPS network. As you can see, when I import my geometry with the UDIM, it's appear like that. So this is disgusting, honestly. So if I rasterize that, you will see all the UDIM will compress in one tile. I don't know, because side effects not supporting UDIM yet. Yeah, yeah. What? So we did a lot of research about UDIM in cups. So we decided to add it in Paint X. You remember Paint X? That's amazing. This is Paint X. Holy moly! And if you're interesting, you can watch this playlist. So we added UDIM in Paint X. Let me show you. In here, as you can see, we have our character. And if we uh, create Paint X, we can connect the geometry instead reference the geometry. And as you can see, we have that. And we have brand new UDIM option. And as you can see, voila. Just with this, you will have all your UDIM. You see, you can select your UDIM and you can assign different texture, different setup, blah, blah, blah. We talked about that before. And you see, now we have a new layer button. And as you can see, you can select another layer and you can assign another color to it. And of course, with that, you can dive in 
in Solaris and as you can see you can update your UDIM in visualization and it will update all these UDIM you did before you see that that's so amazing and how we can export that we have brand new export tab you see we have that and we're gonna select the location in here and as you can see if I hit the right button and all this UV UDIM will export you see that's amazing so this is so cool if you like this kind of video please hit the like button and subscribe for more content i will be so grateful guys stay with us we're going to show you how you can select your udim in viewport that will be so interesting so if you don't have any uv and you are in rush to deliver your work we got you covered we have UDIM generator now as you can see this model don't having any uv but make sure you have these pieces by the name primitive if you want you uh, UDIM sorry so let's import that in cops network as you can see with paint x it will detect if the geometry has uv or not it does not have any uv it will generate that by default and you can enable the UDIM and it will generate the UDIM by default. Damn! That's so amazing without the headache and setting this UDIM. And as you can see, in export we have the geometry tab, and you can export your modification to your geometry. And as you can see, it will copy this. Uh, subnet in here and this is containing all the setuping of the UV and the UDIM as you can see we have all that in here wow that's so amazing honestly we have improved the UI of paint X to have better experience for example instead of selecting this UDIM which is so confusing we don't know which one belong to which object we have this S button you can select any primitive and hit enter and it will set the UDIM by default. You see, that's amazing. On cups, in cups, it's so hard to select geometry or sub stuff, but we did that. And if you want, you can go with this selection and setting this to the UDIM and you can hover of your geometry and see all the UDIM before the selection that's so amazing we also improved that on mask by id you can see that this the new attribute and instead of doing that manually you can select the geometry and will select the value of this attribute you see whatever it's the name attribute it shop material attribute it will set it automatically that's so genius honestly you see that so what if you want to attach your workflow or the texture with the Solaris, your workflow? So we got you covered. We have new export tab. And as you can see, all the UDIM will work with the Solaris. You can see if you select your material and you can create your material and all this setup, all this file path will set up automatically. Wow. You see, that's so awesome. And if you have any suggestion or question, you can go with the guide option and you will see all this guide and documentation. This is awesome. And if you have this roadmap too, and if you have any question, yeah, do not hesitate to contact us. Oof, <laughs> it's so hot in here, honestly. So this is Paintix 0.4. If you're interested, guys, it's available on my Patreon. And for those who purchase that, this is free update for you guys. So enjoy that. And for the champion tiers, also enjoy, guys. And big shout out for these amazing people on my Patreon. Thank you guys for supporting me. And have fun with our content. See ya.